Hey, hey, YouTube family, how you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me in this video. We are going to discuss Julie and Todd Crisley. That's right, Crisley Knows Best. I don't know if many of you know, if you follow them, you know that they were just recently found guilty of tax and banking fraud. And they will be sentenced in October and they can get up to 30 years each for, for this crime. The controversy behind this is that now Julie and Todd, Todd and Julie, they're very married, been married a long time, get that beautiful swirly grandbaby, right? Well, their business partner by the name of Mark Braddock, let me put my glasses on, Mark Braddock, he testified against them and claimed that he and Todd were lovers. Now, over the years, Todd has denied being gay. Todd said he's very straight. He's been married to Julie many years, but that's not what Mark says. Mark Braddock, 53 years old, he's also married. And he said that he and Todd had a sexual relationship for many years. Well, Mark turned state's evidence. He testified against Julie and Todd, and he spilled the beans on hit Mark and, uh, 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 Mark and Todd Crisley's sexual relationship. That's right two married men involved in a sexual relationship with each other. So I don't know, Todd and Julie says this is a lie. They said that they do, they have, um, they've got their own podcast too. It's called Crisley Confessions. And uh, the title of the, they did discuss this case and the title of that particular podcast episode is Revenge is a Drug. Land of dreams and comebacks begin with Jesus. Cause you know, they're religious too. So let's get Jesus in here. And you know, God can work miracles, but don't play with God, don't do it. So I'm looking forward to this couple to come back. I wanna know how long they're gonna get, 30 years apiece. I wanna know how long, I, I, I can't wait until October to see what, to find out what the sentencing will be. But according to Todd, he says that Mark will have his day. They, Mark, uh, Todd and Julie says Mark Braddock will have his day. His day is coming. The day of reckoning is coming. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, they do have a beautiful family. I enjoy the Crisleys. Crisley knows. Crisleys knows. Crisley knows best. It's on. I believe it's on USA Network or is it Lifetime? But I really like the family. I like Todd's relationship with his swirly granddaughter and how Todd talks about how he keeps uh, black women. Uh, on his payroll because they do the girl's hair. They help with her uh, self-esteem and help her with connecting with the black side of her family. I mean, he goes into detail. So I love this couple, I actually do. Now Todd, I always suspect that Todd may have been at the very least bisexual because Todd is very feminine and he will read you to filth. I mean, I love it when he go and start reading people but Todd denied it for many years. So I don't know, I'm not in the bedroom. I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm all here for the Crisley family. I can't wait. And I do hope that maybe, oh, I don't know. I, I hope that maybe they don't get that 30 years. Part of me feel like, no, they're not, but they will do some jail time. So let's keep that family in our prayers. And um, maybe Todd will eventually come out of the closet if need be but I, I find it hard to believe that he's lying that he's not gay but that Mark Braddock says that they were in a sexual relationship then how does Julie his wife how does she square all that I don't know you guys let me know uh, what you think about this family and the the hot tea that's involved and leave comments in the chat thanks for watching and I will chat with you soon love you ciao Mwah.